I think I have been encouraged by by Cornwall's recent performances. I think it was well in the game last uh, last last time out against the the Keithley Cougars until uh, obviously Witten's sending off. But yeah, I think in terms of their planning in this season, they would target these games uh, around West Wales to pick up their uh, pick up their points up in and around the league. So be interesting to see how they approach it. That's a great start. That's a really good start for Cornwall in the kind of metallic green, the teal. This is a really good set, but it is the last tackle. So Gilder goes back to Purcell. What will he do? He puts the angle kick into the Ingog area. He's made a right mess of it, and Cornwall will come up off the knock-on and score the first try through the returning Harry Aronson. It's a perfect start for Cornwall, who lead 4-0. Great start for Cornwall. It came from the from the short kickoff. They managed to get the ball back. Pumped up. You can see there's a lot of intensity in the game. There's a bit of afters obviously after the try, but again with Sam Gilder, the dummy half, Purcell's on his shoulder. Here he is, the scrum half. What can he conjure? Beautiful flat ball. This should be a try, and it will be. It'll be number two in the corner for Harry Aronson, who <laughs> celebrates like he's won Cornwall a grand final. What a start! Eight nil. We mentioned it. Aronson also the the danger man for for Cornwall, but. I want to strip this play back, George, to the to the, to the play of the ball. Where just as Purcell gets the ball, it's a tunnel ball. Everyone thinks the ball going out the back to the full back. Witten, obviously, Witten's a a real threat out the back there, but he doesn't he doesn't hit Witten. That was Collinson, the 13. Gilder again with Purcell on his left shoulder. What will he do this time? Again, he throws. Oh, he just had to check, but then he gets away and off the step goes Nathan Cullen. Right on the line. Goes Witten, can he spin and get the ball down? He's just about kept out. Has he got scored. it down? Somehow he scored! How on earth has he got that down in a sea of bodies? The fullback, Liam Witten, makes it three unanswered tries from Cornwall. He's such a bright spark for, for Cornwall. He's laid his side down last time out with, it, with, it, with a sending off harsh, but it, it, it was a letdown for, for him and his team. But... Bolger has to step across. Can they strike before the break? Give themselves a foothold in this game. There's the man you mentioned. And here they come down the left channel. Have they got the ball down? I think they might have scored here. It's been planted down and the try is awarded. And the Raiders do have a response. And it was made by that man, Shane Lee. And a strong finish down that left-hand side. I mentioned him 30 seconds ago, George. Shane just looks really classy with that ball in his, in his, in his left hand. He tracks defenders into him. This time, I've, I've waxed lyrical about Jones, Bishop's defence, but just gets this one wrong, over and gets done on his inside shoulder. Are they going to be the first ever victims of Neil Kelly's Cornwall? Here they come, Purcell through the line to score himself! The scrum off, potentially, with an historic moment. And a potential match winner Look for Cornwall the Rugby League. The celebration's brilliant. I think we mentioned for the last couple of weeks now, Purcell has been, has been the man for Cornwall. He's been the main guy. They're going to be getting back on the coach with that winning feeling for the very first time. Here he is, Purcell, drilling towards the post. Can he get the Witten? Yes, he can! And he seals the victory for Cornwall. A bit of history in West Wales as Cornwall Rugby League takes Betfred League One victory for the very first time.